Hey everybody, Justin Phillips here. Today we're going to be talking about Finale Songbook, which is Make Music's brand new application for iPad, which enables you to view, play, and print all of your digital sheet music um, from Finale files to PDFs right on your iPad. So when you first open the app, you're greeted right by the library. The library here is the collection of all of your music inside Finale Songbook. Um, we include some help files to help you get started, and also a number of sample files to show the capabilities of the app. So we're going to open one of these sample files and start taking a look at some of Songbook's features. So this is the main sheet music display. You see the toolbars in the top and the bottom and the music display in the center. Um, we use fairly standard iOS navigation techniques. So if you want to switch pages, you can just swipe left, swipe right, and to zoom in on a measure, just pinch in to zoom, pull out to go back out. Um, we can make the toolbars go away if you just want to see the music by just tapping in the center. And we can make them come back by like tapping in the center again. And we do support portrait and landscape mode. So the toolbars and the music automatically switch to fit the orientation that we're in. Um, what's awesome about Finale Songbook compared to other sheet music viewers is it supports Finale files. So while we do support PDF documents as well, Finale files are much more interactive. So unlike a PDF, I can just quick press play. And we hear playback of um, box air just like I would on the desktop edition of Finale. And if I want to rewind playback back to the beginning, I can just click the rewind button. Or if I want to start from a specific measure, I can click on the playhead and drag to that measure. Rewind again. Um, we also include some tempo control, so if you want to speed up or slow down a piece, I can just click here and I can change the tempo um, to what I need it to be. So since this is a finale document, we do have access to parts as well. So if I want to view a part, I can just click on the parts button and select my violin part. If I want to switch back to the score, I can just click on score. So if I want to share this file, I can just click the share button. I have an options to email, um, open in, I can open a PDF in a different application, or I can print the file to any AirPrint enabled printer. So let's return to the library. And one of the last features we wanted to showcase here quick is our set list functionality. So if you're using Finale Songbook as a performance tool, you want to have your, um, you know, say we're playing a gig like a holiday party, you want to have all your music that you're going to be playing easily accessible. So if you have a number of titles in your library, it can be kind of a pain to have to scroll here through here or try to search to find everything. So with the set list, I can easily add all the pieces that I need for this um, gig. Let's say I'm playing at the holiday party for uh, Make Music this year, and these are the pieces we're going to play. I can just click Start Set List. And once I've finished playing the first piece, all I need to do is click the arrow in the top, and it automatically takes me to the next one. Say I want to skip back to another piece, or we're going to play something in a different order. I can just click the title at the top and go back to another piece. Alright, thanks for checking out Finale Songbook. The best part is it's a free app that is available today in the Apple App Store. So definitely download and check it out and we'll talk to you soon.